A lumbar puncture can be performed to extract cerebrospinal fluid from a patient. There are various indications for why a lumbar puncture is performed, for example in patients with suspected meningitis. Let's quickly discuss the anatomy of a lumbar puncture. Please note that we have previously made a video going through how to interpret the different cerebrospinal fluid results for patients with suspected meningitis. So a lumbar puncture must penetrate different layers before it reaches the area of the cerebrospinal fluid. Here we have the distal end of the spinal cord and remember that the spinal cord terminates at the level of L1. In order to reduce the risk of damaging the spinal cord, a lumbar puncture is performed at or below the level of L3, L4. Here we have a spinal needle and we're going to talk through the different layers the spinal needle must go through before it reaches the area of the cerebrospinal fluid. If we advance the needle slightly, the first layer that the needle must penetrate is the skin, represented here. As the needle is advanced further, the needle has now reached the subcutaneous tissue. Once the needle is advanced even further, the needle has now reached the supraspinous ligament. And if the needle is advanced even further, the needle has now penetrated the interspinous ligament. Once the needle is advanced even further, the needle has now penetrated a ligament called the ligamentum flavum. The ligamentum flavum is also known as the yellow ligament, which is why this layer is colored in yellow. Once the needle is advanced even further, the needle has now penetrated the extradural space. And if the needle is advanced even further, the needle has now reached the dura mater. Once the needle is advanced past the dura mater, the needle has now reached the arachnoid mater. And finally, if the needle is advanced even further, the needle has now reached the subarachnoid space. The subarachnoid space contains the cerebrospinal fluid, which is why this is the final destination of the lumbar puncture. So these are the different layers through which a lumbar puncture must penetrate before it reaches the subarachnoid space and extracts the cerebrospinal fluid. And that is a summary of the anatomy of a lumbar puncture.